I have talked to some uh, other machine learning scientists who have said that, you know, when it comes to this kind of thing, maybe human loop is not always appropriate. It could be limiting the effectiveness of certain machine models if we have to make sure that people are involved in the process. What is your thoughts on, on like an approach like that? They're wrong. They're wrong? No. Right? <laughs> no, in some cases, they're right. <laughs> So I think I think um, there are many many places which human biases um, can certainly be detrimental. Yeah, but one one thing to keep in mind is every algorithm also has a bias. So part of it is a question of which bias do you trust more, which is more or less hurtful or harmful. But I think a a, a deeper answer is more we're going to bring human biases to the system, and we should be conscious of that. So one of the things we try to do in our work is think about how a human can bias a system, but if the human is giving bad advice, we could still overcome that bad advice, show the person a better way of doing things, and let them say, yes, this is better, or no, really, listen to me. Right. So okay. giving giving the human options to see that, oh, maybe, maybe I gave some suboptimal advice and the agent found something that I could, could do that's even better. That seems like a more realistic approach than just trying to eliminate any sort of human bias at all. Yeah. So we have a lot of baggage that we bring to things sometimes. Yeah. Well, we, we all have baggage, but, you know, data is biased. Algorithms are biased, right? So, so there's, I mean, it's really hard to say, oh, this is a completely blank slate and it's completely fair. Like that, that's, that's often hard to achieve in practice. Yeah. And I think that there's almost a bias that people have sometimes in thinking that, well, if it's, an AI model, if it's a machine model, it's objective, it's fair, and that's not really the case. No, absolutely not. What needs to be done, do you think, to move towards this this approach where human in the loop is is built in and inherent in, in all of the work that we do? I think part of it is just recognizing that human AI collaboration can be a, a good solution technique yeah. and thinking about where it could apply. Because... Often, AI people will think, I want to automate this. I want to figure out how to have my robot do everything. And that's absolutely appealing. Like, if we can minimize human um, effort, minimize human risk, that absolutely makes sense. But if we think, if I want a robot to do this task, and it's going to get a certain level of performance and take five years, or I could get a robot and a human to perform that same task at higher performance level, and it takes half a year... You know, let, let's think about what's practical. Yeah. And I guess it comes to the point that you were talking about what humans are good at, what, what uh, machine learning agents are good at. If you do automate away the things that humans are not good at or unpleasant or what, whatever, that does leave more time and mental space to work on the collaboration that uh, they are good at. Yeah, exactly. So, so you, you might have read in the news recently how many stores are rethinking their self-checkouts. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that. Yeah, yeah because it's it seemed like a good idea, but it turns out these machines are really not very good Yeah, because they're, they're a pain in the butt and people steal stuff. And it turns out a lot of people actually enjoy interacting with a cashier. So ha being forced to interact with a machine actually reduces their value. Yeah. I've never had a cashier tell me that, like, if there's something on the the belt, I'm like, no, there's not. There's, there's just not. Yeah. And the bag's I, not on there yet. Never had a cashier say, please wait for service. Please wait for service. <laughs> so a little bit more about that when we are talking about people collaborating with machine learning. What does that look like in your mind? So, so it's clearly application dependent. Yeah. But I think some, to me, one of the important things is, is thinking about it as a collaboration. Right. So it's, it's a teaming exercise the AI should be doing things to help the human, but the human should also be able to anticipate the AI. The human should be able to understand what the AI is good at or bad at and be able to anticipate where it might come into, come into problems or where it might be less trustworthy. Yeah. So it, it's building up that appropriate level of trust in the appropriate ways. If a, a doctor is working to diagnose a patient with an automated system, if the doctor can understand the system is good at these kind of diagnoses or good at this population of patients, but is not good at these other things, 
than understanding where where they should you know just trust the system because it's almost always right versus well let's let's go get a second or third opinion from a different a different person a different resource